Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be playing with brand spanking new things from the drugstore, which oddly was like a hard thing to like put a whole group together. And this time of year, it's usually just like new, 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 new. And it's not that way this year, but there are a few items that did come in PR and that I did go out and pick up myself that, you know, kind of caught my attention. We're gonna play with a bunch of drugstore, affordable, stuff and I have a look in mind too. We're gonna do like a mustard themed eye look. I don't know why, but like I was on Pinterest and I kept like scrolling through makeup and you know how you can click on one image and then it will give you like a bunch of other images and I was just like mesmerized. So it's gonna be very like French's mustard inspired. I cannot wait because one of the palettes that I'm gonna be playing with is from e.l.f. and it has like this color right here. <gasps> It kind of goes with my nails. That's like what I'm thinking. I'm being like matchy, but not like too matchy, matchy, matchy because I've been playing that game a little bit too much where I'm like, Tati, stop it. I mean like purple nails and then I'm like, I know what I'll do, purple eyeshadow, cute. So I'm trying to be a little more fashion. Let's just like get to it. Uh, the first thing I am gonna put on is not, it's not new, but I need to be concealed because we all know I'm not sleeping the greatest. I've been mentioning that. It's like this weird thing that happened. It's just this time of year, I don't know. My seasonal depression is out to play, out to get me every freaking time. Obviously I'm also wearing foundation. I've primed. I'll list everything in the description box below as I normally do so that it's easy for you guys to find. So let's move straight into setting the under eye area. Now this is from Pop and you can pick this up at Rite Aid. This is their Contour 101 and this is the matte version. They have a more glowy version of this as well. Now the highlight in here really Again, it's matte, so it's a pigmented highlight. And what I like to do with something like that is take a small brush, grab a little bit of the powder and just do the initial set underneath my eyes and then go in with a loose powder. It just creates a nice barrier so that if you do pile on the loose powder, when you kick everything off, you're not also kicking off some of the concealer. It's just like this nice velvety, layer that allows the loose powder to work better in my opinion. That was nice, actually. It's very similar to the MAC one that I've been loving so much. From there, I want to bake with a little bit of Milani translucent powder. The number three is more of a banana yellow. I don't necessarily love using that kind of a thing underneath my eyes. I prefer just like a very brightening type of a powder. So I'm gonna go in with this. I'm holding my breath ever since the Sicily thing. I'm just like. Ugh, makeup is danger. <sighs> this one is dusty. Oh my gosh. You guys wanna know the most random thing? Of course you do. I have show tunes, <laughs> not just stuck in my head. Like I'm not even, like this is not funny actually. <sighs> okay, so part of my insomnia right now is I lay in, <laughs> oh my God, I'm ruining my bake. Okay, wait, I lay in bed and I cannot sleep and my husband <laughs> snores. He's gonna kill me for saying that. He's like, I don't snore. And I'm like, you sure do. You're not awake, I am. Um, I think I snore too, but anyway. So lately I have been in bed and literally this is me in bed at night. I'm literally like, okay, good night, love you. Bye, sweetest dreams. Mm. And then I lay in bed and I'm like, go to sleep, go to sleep. You only have, look at the clock. You have five hours, go to sleep. And then I'm just like, and I'm like just laying there awake for no reason at all, you know? Like I've stopped doing caffeine in the evenings, all of that. Okay, so now what's happening is I lay and I'm like, dink, and I'm like awake, and I have freaking show tunes in my head. I haven't watched any musicals, and I'm like, you've got to pick a pocket or two. There is a castle on a cloud. And I'm like full on reminded, because I used to use that as like a audition song when I was younger and I did the whole musical thing. Oh, it's the worst. How do you get songs out of your head? <sighs> I'm sorry, random moments with Tati. Welcome to my channel. If you have not subscribed and you like random moments with Tati, bam, subscribe, ring that bell for good luck. It's Christmassy seasoning time because Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings, right? I think that's the cutest, like ring the bell, right? For good luck. I'm gonna go into this guy right here. I don't think this is new, but it is from Maybelline and I could not find a freaking bronzer that was new. Man, the drugstore is just kind of like lacking. What is happening? Tell me, are you guys seeing the same amount 
or is it actually different? I think it's kind of different right now. The other thing that you might notice in some of my videos, I leave my bake on when I'm bronzing right now and I kind of like that powder underneath my eyes to kind of dust everywhere over the face. I really like that powder actually. That's like such a killer powder from the drugstore. And the Pop Beauty, I remember trying a contour kit from theirs in the past that was like super chalky. This one's actually quite nice. Okay, so that being said, I'm gonna reach into the contour palette and I'm gonna take that middle shade that is called Blush, but really I feel like this is a contour shade. I'm gonna contour my nose with it. I'm going to use a less is more approach. A few of you were calling me out on my contour and I think it was the ColourPop video. It was a little strong. I was watching the footage after I had filmed because sometimes with all these lights here, it is really difficult to see how everything really is looking for you guys. Like I can see, you know, my mirror and everything, but how it translates sometimes gets a little out of control. So I was just like, Ugh. I was like, they're right, dude. It was not a good nose contour day, but you guys, just please know when you're calling me out on my makeup and this and that, it's just makeup. Like it really, it's okay. I washed it off at the end of the day and try to do better next time. And isn't that what any of us can do? Like, I think we put so much pressure on ourselves to be perfect and stop. That's not what it's about. You don't need to be perfect. I don't need to be perfect. Just have fun with it and move along and try to get better with the things that you want to improve on with your craft, be it makeup or anything else. We're going to highlight now and I am going to go into this glow to go highlighter palette from Essence. This is new. I love it. I think it's super cute. I think the colors in here are really versatile and beautiful. You know, you have something here that you can highlight and mix around and cater to your skin tone, but you can take those lighter shades and use them as eyeshadow. Like maybe that won't work for you on the high points of your face, but you can still use those shimmery shades elsewhere. Same with me. Like I can use these more bronzy shades on the lid. So I always look at palettes like this with that in mind. And I don't know, I just, I like it. I think this is a nice palette. So I'm going to grab a fan brush. And the other thing recently that I'm doing, I think I just kind of screwed it up. I kind of take my highlighter a little bit lower like a little more to the front of the face. I just noticed that I like really like that look for now. It's funny because I know that like in a couple years, I'll probably look back at this video and be like, what are you doing? Cause I look back at like my old, old videos and I'm like, oh my God. Whoa, this looks crazy. I'm like, oh my God, Tati, get a freaking eye pencil and like fill in your brows. But it's just so funny. Like what the trends are at the time that you are kind of influenced, you know? You know? Hmm? <laughs> I like it. I'm ready for my mustard eye. We need some blush. I'm gonna go into this e.l.f. palette right here. This is the Modern Metals. And we're gonna grab a fluffy kind of more angled blush brush. And we're gonna go into this peachy shade right here. Lightly stamp it on the cheek and then kind of fluff it away. And yes, I know I'm going over my highlight. I'm okay with that. You make your own rules, you know? I really, really love this color. It is like this nice, like soft peachy shade. That is so beautiful. I really love that. I'm gonna quickly swatch the other shimmer shades in here for you guys. Obviously already wearing highlights, so I don't need more, but these feel so nice. Wow, yes. Okay, let's look at the other blushes in here really quickly. This is great. This is super, super nice. Obviously with blushes, you just want them to be able to blend out. So swatches, in my opinion, are not the most important thing when it comes to a blush. And e.l.f. obviously always has really great pricing. So this is a winner. Okay, I have this from City Color and I have never tried any of their liquid lipsticks. You guys know that I've raved about their individual shadows, about their lipsticks, and they are so, so budget friendly. They are like five bucks and under. Ew, I have foundation on my mouth. All right, I'm gonna need a liner too, so let's just do it. I'm gonna take Spice and line my lips. I know it's not drugstore, I don't know. I don't know. You know it's a great dupe for this? 666 from Wet n Wild. But I don't want any Satan liners hanging out in my drawer, so nope. Not in my studio, Boobra. Let's go in. 
Ooh. I really, really love the color of this. I'm gonna have to see how the formula wears. It feels a little bit sticky and strange, but I'm gonna wait till it dries down completely to like fully judge the situation. And the lipstick I was super excited about took all of 2.2 seconds to dry down and make my lips look absolutely horrific and I really don't like it. So I'm gonna have to dig through my collection and find a similar color, but different formula, because I like the color, but this is just like, Ew, right? Ew, who wants that? No. We're gonna try out more e.l.f. Like why not? We're here doing this video. So I'm gonna do the Modern Metals Lip Gloss. This is kind of like a lip topper. Just because honestly, my lips feel so dry with whatever this formula is, which is such a bummer. Like I really like City Color eyeshadows um, and their lipsticks, but this is just no. It's a no, no, no. I actually really like this. I was actually not expecting to because normally the more champagne-y lip toppers, I don't always love, but this is kind of fun, like kind of fun holiday thing. I'm gonna do my eyebrows first and I have a little baggie of L'Oreal brow products that are brand spanking new. They have kind of, it's a straight dupe for the Wonder Brow. Um, we're in this era of everybody copying everybody and here's another example of it. You know, it just happens. So this is called the Unbeliever Brow by L'Oreal. I don't like using this kind of a thing just on its own. So even when I've used Wonder Brow in the past, I always use some kind of a pencil first. Okay, so I have my brows where I want them. And what this is gonna do is set them, fill them in, add a little bit of oomph because this is a fiber type of a product that will actually make a little more volume happen in my brows. And this stuff does not come off until you say so. It's almost similar also to the Maybelline 24 hour brow that I put to the test for 24 hours. I'll link that video below as well. I, I really like these kind of products. I would just say, make sure that you always use a brush when applying them. Don't ever go straight out the tube. Now we're finally gonna go in <laughs> with a little painterly paint pot. I'm just gonna stamp this all over the lid. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a larger fluffy brush and I'm gonna go straight in to, you guessed it, mustard yellow, it's happening. So we're gonna go kind of heavy handed and really pack this on the outer corner through the crease to the inner corner. And now I'm just gonna take whatever's left over on the brush and really go to town smoking out the lower lash line. I'm gonna take a little bit of NARS concealer and just kind of stamp this over the center of the lid. You know what's interesting about this palette is to me, not a lot of this works with each other, like I need one like really bright, like bam, kind of a color, and I'm not getting it from this. So I think what I wanna do is actually go back into this guy right here, and I'm gonna take this more golden portion of the highlight with my fingertip and just press this on top of where I just laid down that concealer. I'm gonna kind of just graze over that edge to make sure that everything looks nice and blended. Also, my mustard dreams are more orange than mustard. But you know, another day, that's fine. I'm gonna kind of deepen up this outer edge right here with a little bit more of saucy. You know, I do have to say this particular shade is blending really beautifully. It's just not as yellow as I had hoped for. And I do wish that this palette had, you know, like something, like they have shades like this that are nice, but they're all, it's just all pretty like deep, you know? There's no like big papau shade. Now that we've deviated from yellow, I'm gonna take this orange right here and I'm actually gonna frame both sides of the brighter area. I 
And I'm gonna go back over the middle portion again because it kind of got covered up, that's okay. I'm gonna take from Milani their new metallic lights and I'm gonna take the shade number one and we're gonna do the inner corner with this guy. Pop on a little bit of liner, a little lash, and that will be our eye look. I am gonna go back in once again to the glow palette, grab that light shade and just right in the inner corner, I'm not gonna pull it, but like right in that inner corner, I'm gonna stamp it right there. I like it, and I'm gonna graze the leftover just right up here. I think this is really, really pretty and pretty easy to do also. So I'm gonna now take one of the new Milani metallic liners, which are such a pain to open. Oh my goodness. I had to have James help me and he was getting so frustrated and he full on had tweezers and everything. And he was like, I can't do it. I've opened things for you so many times. Like, I don't know why this is such a pain in the neck. And he's like, I'm literally getting so frustrated. And I feel like breaking this pencil. Like it was, we were laughing because it was like literally just like so difficult to get into these. Let's hope it was worth the hassle. So this is the new Milani Metallic Lights. This is the shade five. This looks really, ooh, yes, creamy. Okay, so I'm gonna line with this. I'm just gonna kind of take a pencil brush and just circular motions, just ever so slightly. I don't wanna buff it into a smoky situation. I just wanna soften it just a little bit. For a surprise element to this look, which you can totally skip this part if you're not in to this type of a thing, but I am gonna pop this in the waterline just to kind of see if it will add a little oomph to everything that we have going. That sure did. Okay, so it is time for a little mascara. And I do not have a new mascara in front of me, so I'm just gonna go in with a little iconic over curl from Dior. There are so many drugstore brands that I love when it comes to mascara, but this is such a nice one. If you want your lashes to stay put and to stay curled and have length and volume and not flake, it's a good one. All right, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit concerned when we were like smashed up to the camera and the lighting was kind of weird. My settings were making the screen like really dark and I could not really see what was going on to be honest. You didn't know that, but that's what was happening. <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, my mustard yellow dreams are like in the toilet and this looks horrible and what am I doing? I hate this. And now that I have lashed myself and we have pulled the camera back, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh, this is a look that I love. This just screams fall, cozy, cozy sweater, warm, beautiful, but kind of like glam and edgy at the same time. I love the hit of blue in the waterline. And I have to say the Milani new metallic pencils, pain in the butt to open, but really creamy and gorgeous and beautiful. I'll insert a swatch of all four of the other colors that I didn't use along with the blue that I did use. So those are a huge thumbs up from me. I'm gonna have to do my French's mustard, yellow mustard look another day. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys have an excellent mustard shadow recommendation for me? Leave it there. I still want to do that kind of a look. I do want to say I really enjoy this, even though I'm complaining a little bit about the color setup in here and that I feel like it needed a few more kind of punchy champagne brighter pops. All in all, the quality in the Opposites Attract palette from e.l.f. is really, really, really nice. I was just kind of playing around with some more swatches and I'll do them again for you right here, just like live swatch my arm. Look at how nice that is. I mean, it's just, these blend so beautifully. I'm happy with how everything turned out. You get such a variety in here. The price is excellent. I also wanna give a shout out to Flower Beauty. Hello. I mean, like the way that these dry down it's so gorgeous. You can totally put these on top of your powder shadows and they are stunning. The new ones from Milani, the metallic liquid eyeshadows. They came out with five shades. I'll insert a swatcheroo for you guys. Look how pretty this one is. Ooh, it's so nice. They did a hypnotic lights collection in the past and that's actually what this is right here. And they still sell for the five shades online. So if you're curious about that, I love a good liquid shadow and I love it when it's really beautiful, bold and bright and on a budget. I also super love the powder. 
The Pop Beauty contour palette was great. I mean, I really, I hit more home runs with this look than I did negatives. The City Color Liquid Lip, never again. No thank you. The blush palette from e.l.f., really super awesome. So everything said and done, more good stuff than bad stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this Milani Make It Last Matte Charcoal 16 Hour Wear Setting Spray. I'm a little bit oily today. Don't know what's going on, but um, we're gonna mattify the face and I'll let you guys know how this goes in the future. This sucker was new and I'm super, super curious. Whew, she's ready to go. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed creating it. Give the video a thumbs up if you would like more drugstore videos like this. Make sure you are subscribed if you have not yet done that already. Why have you not done that? Like it's for free and you can do that easy. Just hit the button, ring the bell, and then you will be notified of my future uploads. I'm here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST and I hope you come and hang out with me again. I would so love that. All right, you guys, go have a good one and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.